Wan Dami Bante and Sialis. Good morning, everyone, and uh, good evening to our Dhamma friends in the Western Hemisphere. Welcome to Lesson 9 on Cognitive Processes and the Nature of Mind. I am Cynthia, the meeting co-host who will be helping Bante and everyone in today's session. May we invite Bante to start the teaching, please? Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Okay, welcome back to the Dhamma class. Let's start our today's lesson, Paying Homey to the Buddha, reciting Namo Dasa three times. Namo Dasa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Dasa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Dasa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Last week we have studied and we have started our study about the 18 ruthless consciousness. Today we are going to study the cognitive process and the nature of mind. This is just the uh, introduction to cognitive process, which is called the Chitta Witi. So that we could understand when we study 18 root black consciousness properly. So this lesson is not teaching about the cognitive process to complete the just introduction. The reason why I introduced cognitive process during the study of the consciousness chapter is the to understand the consciousness properly, we need to know how they arise in the process. Okay, let's see today's lesson. This is lesson nine. We have already studied about the, the unwholesome consciousness and, and part one of the ruthless consciousness. So as we have already studied, there are four types of ultimate reality. The consciousness is one of them. So here, today I would like to introduce the discourses of the Buddha, which by the Buddha himself about the mind. This is only example. There are so many discourses related to the nature of mind. So here, okay, the first one is to be cool, do not, I do not see even one other thing that changes so quickly as mine. It is not easy to give a simile for how quickly the mind changes. This is the discourse from Angodra Nikaya. So this shows the, the speed of consciousness, the speed of mind when it is it arises. So it is very fast, fastly swift. The frequency of consciousness is very quick. In this discourse, the Buddha, what the Buddha said is, even to give the example is not easy about the speed of mind on quit. So, we cannot imagine how quick. <clears throat> if we can imagine, we can give the example how fast the, the frequency of the consciousness. So, at the beginning, we need to understand the consciousness is conditional. It arises due to the condition, then it vanishes. So, arise and vanish. If something has arise and vanished, it has the duration. So 
the consciousness duration of consciousness is very short. That is why when arise and vanish, arise and vanish in this way, it come in the process. How fast? So in according to this discourses of the Angodra Nikaya, how how fast the mind arise and vanish is not easy to give the example. It means too quick, too fast. Too fast means the duration is very short. Even in one moment, in one second, it can arise millions of times, millions of times. So before we study about the cognitive process, which is the process of the consciousness, we need to know the nature first. So consciousness is very fast. It's be, it has very short duration. Then the second one, this comes from Dhammabara, is Durangaman, Ekacharan, Asari Rangu Hasaya, Yechitan, Sanya, Missandi, Makhandi, Mara, Bandana. This is the Dhammabara basis. In this Dhammabara basis, it rebuilds some natures of consciousness. So Durangaman is wonderful. Is go far. It means actually, this is the um, the example. What is wandering far? Is does not mean the consciousness is there going around. It takes the objects far from far far from the this. It is a rising place. So it seems wandering far but actually the the nature of ultimate reality they don't move from where they arise so it means they where, where they arrive they vanish so they are not moving around and but the the second one ikachara is more important in this case so here emphasis ikachara Ekachara is conceiving one thought at a time. It means the one thought moment is one, one consciousness arise. At that time, another consciousness cannot arise. So two thought moment cannot arise at that particular time. So although it's run very fast, it go alone. It arise alone. After vanishing, the present one, the the following one can arise. So you can you can see it, you can imagine about the uh, the the beats line of the beats the counting beats one after another is not going two together in parallel. It's so in the process, in the same way, the consciousness also running in the same in the process when one arise only that group of mentality you can say the group of mentality because conscious when consciousness arise it does not arise alone it, it arise with the mental feather associated mental feathers but it never arise with the other consciousness so consciousness only one time in one moment. But it has a company manifestation. At the same time, they arise together, consciousness, one consciousness, and associated manifestation. Then, when they are in, in present, there cannot be other consciousness arise in one process, in one process, in one person's mind. So after vanishing, after passing away of that group of mentality, another group of mentality can, can follow. So the, the preceding one and succeeding one, they are uh, following, they are running in the process. So this 
This is called the Ikacharan, one after another. At the time, only one consciousness arises. So the second one is Guhasayan. Guhasayan is lying or sleeping in the cave. So he, here in this cave, we, we, were, we will understand later about the Hariyawatu for the second second word of Guha Sayan. Guha refers to Hariyawatu according to the commentary. But in the Pali Canon itself, it just say the Guha. Guha is the place, the cave to live in. But it is mentioned in the commentary as a Hariyawatu. Uh, but it doesn't matter. It, it is not emphasized in, in this lesson. So in this lesson, the nature of mind, as the nature of mind, and I would like to mention two points. One is the consciousness, the nature of consciousness, it arises and vanishes in very short time, and very fast, so very quickly. And truthful moment cannot arise at that particular time. But you may think, I am watching the screen at the same time I'm hearing. You may think two process of consciousness, seeing and hearing are arising at the same time. But it is not really in that way. When you see, you don't hear. When you hear, you don't see. So as the frequency of consciousness is very fast, you cannot aware the shifting, seeing to hearing, hearing to seeing. You cannot aware in ordinary mind, in ordinary, or with the ordinary awareness. Okay, anyway, so we can understand consciousness run quickly and at a time only one type of consciousness can rise. Okay, so here, this is called the Chitta Niyama. Chitta Niyama, when the, as the characteristic of the consciousness, Chitta, it recognizes the object and any object it recognizes. But when it recognizes an object, it needs the door, the sink door. There are five sink doors here, five sink doors, and my door. So altogether, there are six doors. Through six door, the consciousness can aware, can recognize the object, can recognize the object. So this is called the Chitta Niyama. So here in this case, there are six types of door, as we all know, eye, ear, nose, tongue, body. These are called the five things door and Manodara, which is called the mind door. So you can you can consider yourself yourself. What when you hear, when you see something, it is through the eye. But you can you can close your eye and you can imagine that image can appear in your mind. It, it is not seeing. It is thinking or imagination. Uh, it is just only in the mind, so through the mind door. So when you open your eye and you see something directly in your physical eye, that is called eye door. It's seeing. It is called seeing. So it's seeing consciousness come through the uh, arise due to the eye door. So in the same way, hearing consciousness through ear door, the smelling consciousness, nose door, and tasting consciousness uh, through tongue door, and, know, and knowing the touching or tangible object is through the body door. And the others, including in what you have seen or what you have heard in the past, can be appear through the mind door when you when you reflect on, on sometimes it can appear automatically. So it is through the mind door, Manodara. So in this case, we can understand there are six doors 
the object can come to the mental process, can touch to the mental process through this six door, <clears throat> five six door and mind door. So five six door are physical, physical door. And the, the last one is mental door, mind door. Okay, this is already mentioned in the previous lesson, seven consciousness elements, Sata Vinyana Tati. So I repeat here because I just want to connect with the function. So according to this classification, there are seven types of consciousness. And the first type of consciousness, Chaku Vinyana Tati, I consciousness, and number two, Type two consciousness are called the I consciousness. And the resultants produced by wholesome, unwholesome and produced by wholesome. So true consciousness, when they arise, but they cannot arise together. When they arise, mean when one of them arise, it performs the function of seeing, the function of seeing. So we can see only when the eye consciousness arise. We cannot see the hearing consciousness arise. We, we can just hear because the ear consciousness perform the function of hearing. So seeing, hearing. And the third one, nose consciousness, it performs the function of smelling. So you can get smell only when the nose consciousness arise. In the other way, you can understand when you get smell, the nose consciousness arises, is arising in your mind, in the process. Then the fourth one, Jinwa Vinyana, tan consciousness perform function of tasting. So when you eat anything, and only when tan consciousness arises, you can taste, you can know the taste of the food. And although you are eating and your mind is going around. You don't know the teeth. If you don't know the taste of the food, the tongue consciousness is not arising. Then the body consciousness, when it arises, it will form the function of touching. Touching means the knowing the touching, aware of the touching. So these are the five functions performed by five types of consciousness. And the other Manoda do and Manovinyana Dadu, they have the different other function. We will understand the rest function in the uh, chapter three, Pakinaka Pakinaka Sangha. So here in this case, hearing, uh, seeing, hearing, smiling, tasting, and touching through the door, eye door ear door, nose door, thumb door, and body door, six, five six doors, and five function, five consciousness, you can connect each other. So, <clears throat> and we, we need the other, the other aspect to complete. So now in this slide, just to aware, five types of consciousness, five function, and five doors. And the rest is the other two elements, two conscious, two types of consciousness, and Manodara put aside. Then we can we will continue. Okay. Here's before we continue the, the consciousness, and I want to talk about the process of mentality. So not only in this life, it is along the cycle of the bus. So here, the first one is death, death moment. <clears throat> so here I said that chuti. In Pali, it is called chuti, death consciousness. It is the end of life, the end of life. So this is death, death consciousness. This is generally uh, description. Because the only one, only one is 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 an exception. One is Asanya Sada Brahma. They don't have any consciousness, so they are exception. It doesn't matter. Just put aside them. Their life and in the 
that consciousness and it starts in rebirth. So we can see life start in rebirth and end in death. It is obvious to all. So that is the end of the present life. So in the same way, that is the end of past life. Here, this is the past life ends. Then us on that just after, just after the end of past life, the present life step. This is the beginning of the present life. So is the rebirth. Then it continue, the present life continue until the death of the present life. So rebirth to death is called the life, present life. In the same way, just after the, this present life moment, then the, if we there are conditions to be reborn, the next life will stop. So rebirth. So we can conclude, we can give a short description about the life, start in rebirth and end in death. So previous, the end of previous life is just before the beginning of this present life. There is no gaps between death and rebirth. Then after rebirth up to the death, this is called the life, our life. We already start from our rebirth. But until now, we didn't reach to our death. So we are living. After our death, after we die from this life, if we have a condition, a condition means to be reborn in any life as any beings, we will have rebirth. Then, okay, let's see how the mental process run in the present life. So the here B is Bawanga, it's called life continuum. Life continuum follow to rebirth. Just after rebirth consciousness arise here, arise and vanish. So this have this is the duration of the rebirth consciousness. Just arise and uh, it has the uh, three paces. And just after three paces, it's gone. It's passed away. No more is it. So then the following one, this is called the Bawanga. So according to the nature of consciousness, so it is called the Chitta Niyama. According to the nature of consciousness, after rebirth, the rebirth is any of the resulting consciousness. So it is not very strong. It, it is just uh, resulting. So it was followed by, it is followed by the life continuum. It is also same type, resulting consciousness. Then according to the nature of the reality and every beings when they were born in new life, they there arise the attachment to the new life. <clears throat> that is called Akusala. <clears throat> so just as soon as we we were born, we in our mind, in our mental process, the unwholesome consciousness arise. So attachment to the life. Then it continue in this way, wholesome or unwholesome. <clears throat> and between wholesome process or unwholesome process, they, they are the bawanga, which you call the life continuum, arise. So there is, <clears throat> the process is running in this way. Sometimes when you encounter uh, any object, you have a right attitude and wise reflection that will be wholesome consciousness and unwise reflection or, or improper <clears throat> attitude. You, there will be the, the mental process of unwholesome arise in your mind. So after that, between the process, the Bawanga life continuum will run. And in the process, 
and they they are some functional consciousness so the functional consciousness here the kriya so we baga and kriya because they they are running in their nature it means that when we see something the functional consciousness of of the bancha dora vachana <clears throat> so avatin five door avatin consciousness they are functional but they are uh, arising according to the the nature of mind so resultant and functional sometimes the kusala is mean wholesome and akusala it means unwholesome the process will arise during the lifetime in this way sometimes wholesome sometimes unwholesome between these two process the bawenga so in this way the the mental process will run until the last moment of the life which is called death <clears throat> then if we cannot attain the enlightenment for the for the highest stage which is called the arhat level we will be reborn in new life so here the rebad was that and then follow the bawanga life continent in this way it will continue like a present present life so this is how the mental process arise in the life in the life <clears throat> except the asanya sada asanya sada being is only the process of materiality so it is not included in this process this is about the the process of mentality so this is just introduction we will study more and more then so these are the key you you will <clears throat> you can easily understand using this this key because we have to show a lot of of freak lot many frequency of mentality so we cannot arrive in long in complete name so we just give the key and this is taken from the from the comprehensive manual of bidama you can check so here b is bawanga and fast bawanga in this way no. <clears throat> then you, you don't need to understand or memorize all of them in the, at the beginning but later you will you will know then <clears throat> here five door avatin and mind door avatin they are functional consciousness but they are arising arising in common life of of the the different types of beings but the other functional so is of these two functional the other functional consciousness arise only in the process of arhat mind so the this five door of button and mind door of button twos are exception it arise in ordinary persons mental process and also trained mental process okay so okay this is the process with a whole sancha one now so is i consciousness because this is i consciousness we can we can understand this come through the i door the object the only the object of visible form can enter through the i door so when the visible form appear and it is considered as the visible form the object enter into the mental process through the i door so this the i consciousness arise in the mental process so as i said between two process only the process the, there will be the life continuum bawanga were running so here bawanga life continuum uh, is running then when the visible form appear and is touched to the i sensitivity at that moment the bawanga were stop the bawanga will be cut off so before it is cut off completely it is pass bawanga vibration of bawanga arrest bawanga three three times arise but it is they are also bawanga then f five door a button because i door is included under the five sense door when the 
object introduced through iron door, the five door abutting arise at the moment. So before we see the five door abutting consciousness arise, then iron consciousness arise at the moment of, of iron consciousness, the image or the, the visible form was captured. Capture is called the seeing. So this is the seeing consciousness, I, I consciousness. So this is I consciousness. It made the function of seeing. As I introduced in the previous slides, the I consciousness perform the function of seeing. So in this moment, it is seeing. Then RC is receiving. After seeing the object, the receiving consciousness arises. And investigation, I is investigation. So then investigation consciousness arises. <clears throat> then determinant. So determ determinant consciousness. If perform the the making determination, how is determined the the object as it is type. This means the visible form as visible form. It does not recognize as good or bad or the other aspect. This just make the determination about the object as it is. So when the visible form arises, it recognized as visible form. This this also a kind of considered a kind of as a determination. <clears throat> so in the consciousness types, there is no determining consciousness among the 89, but the the consciousness mind or abutting consciousness is in the 18 rootless consciousness. So this performed in the process in this process as a determining. That is called it is considered as the determining consciousness. So this is, as you see, the many of the consciousness come from the rootless consciousness, rootless group. So here, by door, abutting, I consciousness, receiving, investigating, and then determining, all of them come from the uh, 18 rootless consciousness. So, in order to understand the eight, how the 18 rootless consciousness arise in the real mental process, we have to understand the, uh, the cognitive process. <clears throat> so otherwise, it will be very difficult to understand. There's so many questions arising in the mind, why they are going this way and how they arise, what they perform, what kind of function they perform when they arise at this. So that is why uh, I, I'm trying to introduce the cognitive process in this study, in this case. So then the, the process run in the Jawana. So there are seven Jawana. So Jawana is usually, is not translated into English, uh, the Nobeku body himself said the it is just uh, to keep untranslated one. So, but just to know, just to to let the 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 learner know, to give the translation running swiftly. So, Joanna is my moment is run very swiftly. So, it does not longer or shorten than the others, but it is considered as the running in force, force, running in force, the so running swiftly. It, so here, normally arise seven times. It arise seven times normally. Is um, when the, is, the process is given the example, it is always compared with the kin who can enjoy the food. So the jawana, my moment, seem the enjoyment of the taste of the object. So seeing when the process of seeing arise, the other in the other mind moment, the mind, the consciousness 
cannot completely taste to the uh, to the object. This is just an example. You know, you, you cannot you cannot think the consciousness is is consuming the object or like this. But uh, to give the example, enjoying the at the moment of Jawana, the consciousness can fully enjoy the taste of the objects. This is the example given in the, the process. So, so if you think it makes you more clear, you can you can consider. And if it makes you confused, you can put aside, no problem. And you will, we will discuss more later in the cognitive process chapter. <clears throat> so here, uh, as the comprehensive manual of Abhidhamma is mentioned, the Javana stage is most important, most important from an ethical standpoint. So at the guest standpoint, it can be wholesome or unwholesome. So here, not only wholesome and unwholesome, it can be functional too, functional too. And fruition is the fruition, fruition is the pala, and functional is kiriya. So mostly from the ethical standpoint, it is emphasized on the wholesome and unwholesome. So here I mentioned that unwholesome jawana with unwholesome jawana. So that's why the the mind movement are are described in red. You know, it is you have to be aware of that the unwholesome. So from the ethical standpoint, the other movement will be the same, but the jawana process, the oh, jawana movement will be different from the other. Okay, it doesn't matter. You will understand with the comparison of the other slides. Okay, the, at the moment of Jawana, <clears throat> there can be 55 chitta. So here you see the Jawana, Anhosan, 12 Anhosan. We already studied 12 Anhosan. So here 21 Hosan, not yet, and 4 fruition and 18 altogether, 55 consciousness can perform the function of jawana. It, it, this is the different from the seeing or hearing, like this. So this is another function. <clears throat> At, from the ethical standpoint, it can originate, it can, it can produce, it can produce. So when it is, if it is unwholesome, the, the moment of jawana, are regarded as unwholesome, it will produce bad result. If it is wholesome, it will produce good result. If it is functional, it will not produce any result. Okay, so if it has to produce <clears throat> the result, the, the result, the pro producing function will be different. The first moment here, the first moment and the last moment and the middle five moments. So here yeah, the first jawana, first moment, being weakness of all, generate immediately effect, effective karma. <clears throat> so put aside being weakness of all. So just to aware the first jawana moment immediately generate immediately effective karma. So it is called the data dhamma with a niya. The, the result can be seen in this life, which produced by the first jawana moment. Then the last jawana moment, being second weakest in this series, okay, just put aside this, we will understand later. Then the last jawana moment generate subsequently effective karma. So this moment <clears throat> give it is produce it is resolved in second life. In second life, that's why it is subsequently effective karma. So the first moment, this life, second moment in next life. Then the rest fight. 
fight intermediate juvenile. It gener they, they generate indefinitely effective gamma. So indefinitely means you cannot uh, find out the specific life where it will produce. But because it has the potential, potency to produce any life starting from that blood, that blood life. So second future existence on what? As long as you have the life, it can produce, it can follow. It can follow the, the beams. Then when it has the supporting condition, it will produce. It's both sides and good, good or bad. So the last one is ripening karma. So the, it is already mature, but cannot produce. It is cannot produce the result. At that time, it will become the defunct. So it cannot produce anymore. <clears throat> this is the 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 aspects of the jawana. So it's a little bit complicated. Considering about the nature, so jawana running swiftly. Then uh, it can be wholesome or unwholesome, but in the other heart my it can be functional and also it is the fusion so but the through the eye dog consciousness it cannot be fusion but it can be a wholesome unwholesome or functional according to the individual it arises then another aspect is the pro producing the result it is different different potency the first moment has different potency the last moment have another different potency and the intermediate five have the different potency. So this is the Joanna. It doesn't matter, just introduction. Then the last one, the last class is registration. So registration is the followers of the Joanna. This, this is a kind of Resort and consciousness. So it show in this color. Okay. Just to be aware that this Jawana movement, unwholesome Jawana. So if we go to the second slide, then we can see the, the same patterns or the same process because this is all completed five door process, Panchadwara Witi with unwholesome Jawana. So in show Joanna moment are show in the red. Then only the the difference you can find is the moment of e I consciousness. The previous slide I say I said that I consciousness. Instead of I consciousness, it can be ear consciousness. It means that when the visible objects arise and I sensitivity capture the visible object at the moment we will we will show we will study the essential uh, essential condition so if the essential condition complete the unconsciousness will arise in the mental process so that is why through the door i sensitivity and i door are the same so I, the I sensitivity with visible object coming together at the moment, I consciousness arise. The function is seeing. That is why you see the object. If the object sound arise, the object or sound arrives, and ear sensitivity capture is through the ear door. At the moment, the second one should be ear. This ear is ear consciousness so ear consciousness will perform hearing function when it's arise as i said in previous slides so so this one e refers to ear consciousness the third one this e refers to nose consciousness because the smell arise and no sensitivity 
capture. That's why smell enter through the nose door. Then nose consciousness arise, you get smell. Then the fourth one, it refers to the tongue consciousness. So when the taste and tongue sensitivity coming together at that time, you know the taste and tongue consciousness arise. Then the last one, this refers to the body consciousness. So tangible objects and, and body sensitivity. So through the body door, it comes, the body consciousness arise. But the other moment will be same, will be the same. So the only difference is in case of the fight door and consciousness, fight door consciousness, okay. Here, you see the, the same types of Jawana moment, Jawana consciousness. But here in this slide, the Jawana become yellow. And because it, I want to emphasize the wholesome, wholesome Jawana. So this will be same as the previous slide. I, Consciousness, ear consciousness, nose consciousness, tongue consciousness, body consciousness, according to the objects, according to the different object arise. Then here, how the jawana, the consciousness of jawana change unwholesome to wholesome. It's me, it's not changing. It arises due to the condition. If you have the ionic somnasikara unwise reflection, the, the previous slide, the unwholesome consciousness, unwholesome jawana will arise, that will take place. Then if you have the proper attitude or wise reflection, ionic somnasikara in your mind, then the wholesome jawana will take place through the pipe door process, panchadwara fight your process. Then for the arahat here, the person, the individual changes. In the process of araha, only the functional jawana arise. The arahat does not have the wholesome or unwholesome. They just see, they just hear, they just get smell, they just taste, and they just know the touch. But they don't have the wholesome or unwholesome. The function is arise, but it does not produce for, uh, does not produce result in the next life because Araha has no next life. They will not be reborn in any place. So they, this is called the functional. Okay, so this is the point, uh, the difference of the five door process, Pancharara, which is according, according to the the jawana are wholesome, wholesome and functional. Here I don't mention about the fruition jawana. It will be explained later in the mental process of the cognitive process in the chapter four. Okay, let's see. We already finished the five door process. Here the mind door process come. So manodwara witi, mind door process. So this also, Categorize into three according to the jawana, so unwholesome. So here the difference is instead of F, five door abatin, it here this become the mind movement become the M, so mind door abatin because this is the object is come through the mind door, so this is mind door process with unwholesome jawana. So this is jawana movement is same as. So here, sometimes registration comes, sometimes registration does not involve. Here you, you, was, you see the moment also shortened, lesser than the previous pi door process. Then here the wholesome jawana. So unwholesome and wholesome arise in the process of ordinary person or training, trainees, so Utojana and Sekha. And Kriya Jawana, functional Jawana, can arise in the process of Arahat. This is the difference. Then 
because they the object come through the mind door the abutting consciousness is named as the mind door a button so in this way two abutting consciousness are enumerated in 18 rootless consciousness five door abutting consciousness and mind door abutting consciousness then okay so let's continue to the essential condition to arise the unconsciousness etc so unconsciousness arise due to the specific condition without uh, the absence with the absence of any of these four condition unconsciousness cannot arise so if unconsciousness cannot arise cannot see you can understand you cannot see only when unconsciousness arises you see so if any of the essential condition absent you cannot see let's see what are they eye sensitivity which is called chakku pesara eye sensitivity is inside the the eye physical eye there is the the cl clear materiality it can capture it can capture visible objects so like a mirror in the in front of mirror if you stand on and if the mirror is clear you can see your appearance in the mirror if the mirror is covered by anything dust or something else is not clear you cannot see in the same way the clear materiality inside the eye it can capture the visible object it is called the eye sensitivity in the other way it is also called eye door because it is it is similar to the door the visible phone enter through which the visible phone visible object enter to the a um, mental process as a as a condition second one is visible object so, so the person have the good, good eyesight but if there is no visible form he or she cannot see so there must be visible object rupa ramana so eye sensitivity is also materiality visible object also materiality coming together in present at the same time the unconsciousness can arise but the other condition also need if there is no light in the dark even if the visible object is in front of you and you you have the, the eye sensitivity good eyesight and if there is no light the object cannot be seen it means you cannot see the objects so the light aloka also is such a condition for eye consciousness and the last one even though all three complete you have a good eyesight visible object is there the light is already on but if you don't pay attention on that you will not see you will not see so attention manasikara is very important so it involves every here yeah, involve in every condition of all types of consciousness so attention everywhere okay so to arise eye consciousness now you understand the four essential condition because this is called the essential condition there are the other condition also you you will you will learn the other condition in the patana so there are many different condition they are they are conditioning in different ways from their own way but they are conditioned into the, the others okay so for the ear consciousness <clears throat> we can understand we must have the ear sensitivity good hearing and sound if there is no sound we cannot hear and space to come through the the sound come through 
so space. If there's no space to come through, then the we cannot hear. Then attention. Then for the nose consciousness, nose consciousness, karna basara, no sensitivity must be good, and smell must be there, and a element to bring the the smell, to bring the smell. So a element and attention. So for the tongue consciousness, the tongue sensitivity and taste. So if there is no taste, we cannot, uh, we can, there cannot tongue consciousness arise. Then water elements. It means if there is no water element to soft the taste into, uh, into the tongues, you cannot get the taste, the attention. Even though you are uh, having your meal, you are thinking about the others and you cannot get the taste. Then the fifth one, body consciousness, body sensitivity, tangible objects. So Puttavaramna, this is the groove of materiality. Then art element, so here this art element and attention. Here in, in tangible object also, include the art element so two of the art element just touching is strong so through the body we can know the touching then the mind consciousness so you can understand one to five this fight consciousness come through the five door five sink door as i introduced in the <clears throat> previous slides the Five sink door and mind door. Here, the last one says, mind consciousness is is come through the mind door. So, the heartbeat is one of the essential condition and mental object dhamma ramana it is the object taken by only mind. It come through the through the uh, through the mind door, not come through the physical fight door. Then the Bawanga and the last one, attention. These are the essential condition. With, uh, with the absence of any of them, the respective consciousness cannot arise. Then, so here, the number one groove, eye sensitivity, ear sensitivity, nose sensitivity, tongue sensitivity, body sensitivity, and the heart base are considered as the sixth base or two six base we will learn this in the chapter three or what two there are six type of what two i'm base ear base nose base tongue base body base heart base but th about this heart base there are some arguments but we will not discuss about that in this study later we will we will discuss we may discuss then here number one number two here second conditions the visible object sound smell taste tangible objects mental objects these are in the group of the six objects so this also mentioned in the chapter three the the presentation of an object is a kind of the, the condition to arise the consciousness without the object the consciousness will not arise so visible objects sound smart taste tangible object and mental objects these are the second condition so we can understand based on the sixth base is also called the sixth door and is you can call the pasada and hari hour two the sixth objects come into touch and come into presence then find the support of number three group the light space air element water element earth element and bawanga if you have attention there the process of consciousness the respective process of consciousness will arise in the mental process <clears throat> okay so uh, this is the introduction for the cognitive process and the nature of mind which can support the understanding of the 18 rootless consciousness because here in this case 
Many my movement are found in the 18 rootless consciousness. So eye consciousness, ear consciousness, nose consciousness, tongue, body consciousness, already we counted in the 18 rootless consciousness. Then uh, receiving consciousness, okay, here. Okay, five door about in receiving consciousness, investigation consciousness, and here, uh, as a determinant at mind door a button consciousness already and so many names are introduced in the 18 rootless consciousness so in this lesson i like to introduce how they work in the cognitive process okay today's lesson is that's all i'm going to stop here and we will continue to q a question a session. Uh, thank you very much, Bante, um, for teaching us. Uh, may Bante lead us in uh, sharing of marriage <coughs> um, and making expiration, please. Yawa nipana patiya. Yawa nipana patiya. Idam me punyam. Idam me punyam. Asawakaya waham hotu. Asawakaya waham hotu. Idam me punyam. Idam me punyam. Nibana sa pacheo hotu. Nibana sa pacheo hotu. Mama punya bagam. Mama punya bagam. Saba satanam bajemi. Saba satanam bajemi. E sabe. De sabe. Me samam. Me samam. Punya bagam labandu. Punya laban bagang tu satu satu satu. Okay, thank you, Bante and everyone for your time and participation. Till we meet next week, may all be well and happy. Satu satu satu.